everyone, this is Ms. Helms, back for video number two. And by the end of this video, you should be able to apply relationships between volumes and areas of similar solids. So starting off, we are given that the ratio of the areas of circle O and circle P is 4 over 9. Our goal is to solve for A. So what we learned in the previous investigation is if we have the ratio of the sides or the side ratio that is a ratio of m over n and this is referring to the ratio of corresponding parts or corresponding sides then we know that the ratio of their areas between the similar figures is going to be m squared over n squared so in this example, we are given the ratio of the areas is 4 to 9. We can use this to solve for the ratio of the corresponding parts, or the side ratio, since that's what we're looking for. We're looking to solve for A, which is a part of the circle, it's a radius. So in order to solve for A, or to set up a proportion to solve for A, we need the ratio of the sides, or the ratio of the corresponding parts. So what we're going to do is set up the ratio of our areas, which is 4 to 9, and we're going from the area ratio to the side ratio. So we are undoing what was done to get to the area ratio, or we're using inverse operations to go backwards. So inverse operations to undo something that's squared, or the inverse operation of squaring a number is taking the square root. So we're going to take the square root of both 4 and 9. The square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. So therefore, the side ratio is 2 to 3, or the ratio of the corresponding parts in these two circles would be 2 to 3. What we can do now is set up a proportion to solve for our missing radius, A. To set up our proportion, we're going to use the side ratio that we found, which is 2 over 3, and set it equal to the radius. Well, since 2 is in the numerator, 2 is referring to the smaller circle, since it's a smaller number. So therefore, a would go in the numerator, and 6 would go in the denominator. To solve this, we're going to go ahead and cross-multiply. So we will get 3a is equal to 12. Using inverse operations to solve, we're going to divide both sides by 3. So a is equal to 4 centimeters, or the radius of the smaller circle is 4 centimeters. Nice work! 